Cheers to you. <coughs> oh! Why? A whole new kit. Fantastic boxes I can review. Hello, Grains. Before some of you say... But Jakey, why are you hating on Disney? It's a classic and it's a lifelong thing of childhood. The answer is stop. Look at me. Stop it. I am a sucker for Disney. Do I love it? Yes. Am I a huge fan? Yes. What's my favorite movie, you ask? Mulan. Not only do I love Disney, but Salty Crafter is a huge fan. When she was in LA last time, she went to the Disney pop-up kind of Instagram place and took some really interesting videos and shots. She's quite the character, this one. I'm not quite sure where she gets it from. Maybe from me, but legend has it that she is a complete mystery and was reincarnated from salt grain. Oh, and yeah, she really had a little too much fun being salty around that area that she got kicked out. Yup, Salty Crafter got kicked out. But as anything, nothing escapes the salt. And so today we're going to be looking at three Disney craft kits that are from Walmart. Well, except for the last one, that one is from Target. We have Aqua Beads, which I've never tried before and it's really cute, so I definitely want to try one of the princesses. Next is a crochet set. You can make your own princess amigurumi, which is kind of like a little plushie out of crochet. Am I going to regret making this decision to make this kit as a review? Mm, most likely. Most likely, because I hate sewing and textiles and, and all that stuff. But Ermi good, it is so cute. We'll, we'll get to that soon. And last but not least is a Disney Pixar Toy Story 4 craft kit, which is supposed to be a galactic slime. So I'm curious, which kit do you have the least hope on out of the three? For those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise, I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Our first victim, Disney Princess Character Set Aqua Beads. I really love the design on this box, especially that it has little snippets from the Disney movies. And I have to admit, The Little Mermaid has a really special place in my heart. Partly because I was a very rebellious teen. And the design of these little aqua bead figures are absolutely adorable. I mean, just look at them. They have these cute little chubby cheeks and those tiny little eyes. Sometimes less detail is actually cuter. Let me know, do you like hyper realistic style or do you like cartoony simple styles? I'm really curious, let me know in the comment section below. Personally, I really like cartoony simplistic styles. So my guess is the idea of this kit is we're supposed to put beads and then spray them with water and then we get something. I don't know why I say skeptically with a high pitch voice. One of the things that worries me, if we look at the bottom of the box, it says actual contents may differ from image. What? Why would, but what? I don't know. I don't get it. Why would the box show something that is not inside? All right, enough delay. Let's see what we get inside. By the way, for those of you wondering, this kit costs $12.99. Here's what we get inside. A variety of really colorful beads. They look absolutely so colorful. That makes me so happy, even though I am dark in my soul. You heard me. Dark in my soul. <laughs> We also get a really tiny mister, and I don't mean like, hello, my name is Mr. Nerdy Crafter. I mean like this little thing that you spray water from, that kind of mister. We also get templates for five princesses, two over here, none in the back, two here, and one last one. By the way, let me know, if you were a Disney character, which one would you be? I think I would probably be a Disney villain, not a princess. I'm curious, what would I look like as a Disney princess? Probably not very good. Not with a frown like this. We also get the board that we place the beads on. Instructions. And then we get this thing over here, which is, oh, 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 wow. Okay, so we get, we get all of this huge instruction sheet over here with a variety of languages. That's pretty thoughtful. Not sure it needs to be this big, but sure, why not? 
that's cool pretty thoughtful if you ask me though an interesting thing is not only do we get the round beads but we also get gem like beads so my guess is these are going to be decoration type I am really excited let me know also which princess you would have chosen I want to go with Jasmine because Arabian Nights tales so gonna stick with that so according to the instruction we should be able to slide in the template like so and just follow it by putting the actual color that's pretty straightforward immediately the first thing I'm noticing is that these are not resealable bags so once you open the beads even though the box does say for a younger type audience it means that this is most likely going to end up on the floor at some point so if you're going to give us little baggies please make sure that they're resealable or at least the type that can be closed with a little sticky bag that would be appreciated and so I just pretty much followed the instructions by placing the right colored beads inside the right colored uh, the little template you know the instructions so as I'm putting these beads together it was actually pretty relaxing and even though I have sausage fingers I mean look look at my fingers it actually wasn't that hard if I did misplace one of the beads it was easy to kind of just nudge it in the right direction however we have our first problem so as I am making princess Jasmine I didn't even finish and I don't have any more of the beige lead brown beads. The only other skin tone bead I have is most likely for Princess Tiana over here. So the first issue of this kit is that they didn't give us enough to complete one of the projects. I am pretty much three beads short. And I kid you not, this is my bead bowl. There's none. Why must you disappoint me? I was so happy. So I'm going to try and finish the project by making her arms a different skin tone. Right, this is me applauding. <laughs> Which means that since I'm supplementing the other beads with other skin tone beads, that means my other creation of Princess Tiana is also going to be lacking in the bead colors. So it's a really terrible kind of trickling effect. And so now my Princess Jasmine is both the color of chocolate milk and a cafe au lait. And now I'm going to take the mister and spray the sugar snaps out of it. It's supposed to be very, 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 very moist. No, that can't be the right word. Wet. No, maybe that's not the right word either. Because you can't say she's supposed to be wet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I guess, doused in water. Let's, let's just go with that. Off we go. And now we wait half an hour. Oh wait, no, an hour. All right, an hour. Three hours later. So here we are three hours later and no, it has nothing to do with me being nice. That's not my personality. I didn't want to wait to give them more time. <laughs> As if. It's because I, I got busy. And I'm really curious how it's going to be like. I can already see that the bead here is lifting for some reason. I'm not sure why. And let's check out our mocha jasmine. Ooh, what, what is that? Ooh, it says to lift slowly. That's quite gooey. And here's our beaded jasmine. I have to admit, this is absolutely adorable. Put around it some kind of string and you can use it as a bag charm. The back part is definitely pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty sticky. You saw nothing! But I'm pretty sure you just have to flip it over and let it dry. So for $12.99, is this kit worth going in the trash? Or is it worth your cash? Despite the fact that there were beads missing, which is very... Was this activity fun? Yes. Is it cute? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably. So I would say, worth your cash. That's a pretty solid start for Disney. Watching you. I'm watching you, Disney. Our next kit is Disney Princesses crochet set. I will most likely regret this because it's going to take a few hours to put together, but it is without a doubt one of the cutest kits ever. And at $16.72, it's technically a pretty good bargain if it does work well. They do make it very clear on the box that you only get materials to make both Cinderella and Ariel, but that the instruction booklet gives you all the tutorials for 11 different princesses. Ariel, Aurora, Belle, Cinderella, Jasmine, Merida, Mulan. <gasps> Mulan! I want Mulan. Pocahontas, Rapunzel, Snow White, Tiana, and apparently Cinderella's fairy godmother. 
interesting. And funny enough, when you turn the box around, I can't help but think that all the princesses around Ariel are gossiping behind her back. Like, oh my god, did you just see Ariel, the nerve on her, being in front of the box? I know, what is she thinking? She thinks she's all that being in front. The nerve on this girl. Wow, she's really letting this get to her head. Oh my god, my friends all love me. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Actually, I will. I'll totally do it again. Alright, enough delay because this is gonna take some time. Let's see what we get inside. Oh, and before we do that, interestingly enough, there are no age recommendations on this project. So the one previously was obviously for over four. No, no age recommendations for that. Here's what we get inside. Four bigger blobs of yarn, five smaller bits, quite a bit of stuffing, and a fully colored instructional booklet. It, 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 the instructions scare me just a little bit because they have language like R1, R2, R3. For someone who is a complete beginner when it comes to crocheting and amigurumi, I don't know what to expect. But then again, it, it is pretty colored and really pretty to look at. Let's see if it actually is easy to follow. A crochet hook and some accessories as well as the needle thing, I believe. I don't know. I'm new, okay. So this means give me a few minutes, let me read the instructions and learn how to make a head. I'm going to go with making Ariel. I just want to show you grains that this is the glossary that I'm going to have to learn because even though this is a beginner book, it clearly says 12 easy to follow patterns. This is kind of intimidating. We're not starting off on the right foot. The idea that this is easy to follow instructions is completely misleading. All this here is how to do a slip knot, but we only get one picture for it. I don't see how this is an easy to follow instruction if we're getting all of these methods over here. Feel free to pause if you want, and we get one picture for it. I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials on YouTube. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Alright, so I really am not exaggerating when it comes to someone who knows nothing about crocheting because this here is legitimately the instructions for the head for the first project. So you can see the first one is with cream yarn MLC SCN6 ML or CH2 SC6 and second CH from hook. Obviously for people who've done crochet will be like, yeah, obviously Jackie, what's wrong with you? You, you you're, you're just not smart enough. And everyone else who legitimately looks at this is gonna be like, what? Which means that for someone like me who has no idea what these definitions mean over here, I have to constantly go from this page to that page, back and forth, while at the same time trying to hold the pieces to make the crochet. These instructions are at best, in my opinion, lazy. If you're going to make the first project, don't abbreviate. Try to get the person who's learning about these things to first get into the groove of using the technique as opposed to trying to sound like you know what you're talking about. So these are poorly done for a beginner, but I'm going to stick to it and I'm gonna make a head, dang nabbit, maybe without hair, but I'm still gonna try and make a head based on those instructions, from what I understand. I'm thinking what they failed to mention is that there's a technique to holding this. I have committed to not looking on YouTube and just trying to figure this out like a grain of salt. So I'm gonna try to scoop this in there and the answer is no of course not their instructional pictures is absolute donkey butt i have committed to not looking on youtube and just trying to figure this out like a grain of salt you need to know to get started so let's get stuck straight in yeah i totally didn't last this book honestly is the biggest pile of garbagey trash in terms of instructions for beginners. Whoever wrote this, congratulations, you made someone already who doesn't like crocheting hate it even more. Holy moly, there was no way I was going to learn how to do the slip knot just by looking at one picture and a paragraph of instructions. Yeah, you know what? Thank you so much, Bella Coco. You are saving my life right now. 
Yeah, there was no way these instructions were going to guide me to doing this. I needed YouTube. Now that I have the basic, they only give one picture. As I said, one picture for the entire steps of making the head. They said easy to follow picture instructions. This is what we're getting, that's all. So now I have to learn to figure these out. This is really rare, but I am genuinely angry right now because what is SC2 in each round, SC around? SC and next C. <sighs> Horse, poo, donkey, butt. And so what I'm going to do, just so that I can stop being annoyed, I don't want to end crocheting in a bad note. So I'm going to keep watching tutorials on YouTube from especially people who are very beginner friendly like Bella Coco. And I absolutely still want to make a round head. It will not be complete because this book is absolute trash, but I wanted to, I, I just want to show that I can do it given the right instructions. Nothing is impossible! One hour later. So here we are after one hour and I watched quite a bit of YouTube tutorials and what I've learned is that crocheting is not something you can learn just through a book because I watched at least 10 different videos and there were 10 different techniques of doing a slip knot. So I ended up making this little oval and it is hollow on the inside just to show you grains. See? So it's pretty much using the same technique as making a head, except I just went with my own count. So after an hour, I learned to make something like this. Which means, dear Disney, could I have learned to make a fully made amigurumi just through a book that has one picture for multiple steps? And the answer is... No. Which means that this kit, for any kind of beginner, would go straight... IN THE trash. All right, I, I really need to cool off, so I'm just gonna leave you grains with Salty Crafter. I'll be, I'll be right back. Sometimes I wonder, sometimes I wonder, what is it about life that makes me so salty? And why is it that Nerdy Crafter really needs me to be around sometimes? I know that I am her rock, and I shall stay her rock. Next we have... Disney Pixar Toy Story 4 Galactic Slime. This kit was sent to me by my buddy Ace of Clay, because he likes to supply me crap kits. And from the look of this box, it's going to probably be poop. At $12.99, immediately we can notice that the slime itself has photoshopped stickers and photoshopped beads right on the outside, which is usually bad news. I'm still very salty from the Amigurumi crochet set, so, so I will take it out on something. Someone needs to pay for it. Unlike the crochet set, this one also has an age minimum, which is over four. I think I understand why the crochet set had no age minimum or any indication, because it's for nobody. That's what it means. It's for no one. Look at me. Look at me. No. And in the back, in addition to saying it's a galactic custom slime, we also get a random rubber character. Wait, what does the rocket sound like a car? All right, time to see what we get inside. Are you serious? Are you are you kidding me right now? This has got to be a joke right now. I am I am so angry. I am so angry. Let me explain why. Here's our slime. You want a closer look? Here's our slime. Oh, you want to see another one? Here's our slime. Wait, you didn't get enough? Here's the other one. If you can't see what's going on, let me show you a little more closely. This is the slime we're supposed to be getting. It seems like it's separated inside the package itself. You could see a little bit of the iridescent, and then you can see some kind of snotty glue. Same thing with the blue, you can see that there's a separation of two different liquids. And I think this one here, the green one, is the most obvious of the three. Let's open it. This has got to be a joke. I mean, come on, Disney. You are selling products that are on the shelves, and they expire? This is a toy, right? This is the biggest joke and disappointment from Disney that I would have never expected in terms of low quality. So we're going to open this one first, and does it feel like slime? And the answer is no. This is the liquid we're getting. Look at that. Yep. Totally good quality slime right here. 
it's exactly what I expected. That's sarcasm. So as you can see, you can't even hold this. Look at that. There's no way this is anything workable whatsoever. By the way, Ace of Clay, thanks for sending me a crap kit. Are you serious? Come on. There's, there's no holding. Look, it's like playing with egg yolk. Uh, it's like snot. It's like I have the flu all over again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greens, okay? I'm still angry, I promise. I'm just like, how did they even manage to sell something that expires on the shelves? How does a toy expire? Let, let me, let me clean up. Clean yourself up! Slimy crafter, am I right? Alright, so we know where you belong. Off you go. Let's try the next one. Alright, so... <coughs> Oh, that is gross. I knew something smelled a little off. I thought maybe it was the craft materials in my trash can, but it is the slime. It legitimately smells like vomit. Oh, gross. How? I, I need to touch my hair. I need to get the hair out of my way. Oh, my God. Oh. <coughs> Yeah, this is no good. Just to be clear, there are no instructions. I'm holding this far from my face. Give me a second. Oh, wow. What the heck? What the heck? The more it stayed on my hand, the more it smelled like vomit. No. In the package, there are no instructions, which means that these were supposed to be our slime. So for those of you thinking, maybe I need to squish this until it becomes slime, I will do this for the next five minutes, and we'll see if we get anything. Moments later. Here it is after 10 minutes of me kneading it inside the bag to try and get as much of the consistency of slime as possible. And I don't think I could do more. My hands are absolutely killing me. It's been 10 whole minutes. So let us see what we get for 10 minutes of work. Disney, don't disappoint me. I'm gonna take a whiff out of this. I, I, my stomach hurts right now. Okay, it smells like nothing. And, yeah, still no. Yes, but no. So here's me trying to pick it up again. And even though it is better than the previous one, it is nowhere near a workable or playable kind of slime. Yeah, it doesn't smell like the other one. As much as the other one reminded me of slime, this one, um, I'm not gonna really tell you what I'm thinking. That's, yeah, that's the consistency. Last but not least, this galactic blue, which I'm going to need again for the next 10 minutes. More moments later. And here it is. Cheers to you. <coughs> oh! Why? Why is this a craft kit? Oh, oh, I'm not, I don't feel good. No, no. I'm gonna take one for the team and we're going to place it on the bowl again so that you could see how gross it is. And even though it does have a little bit more of the consistency, oh, that is gross. It is, again, it is extremely under-activated. It is definitely better in terms of consistency, but holy moly, why does it smell like someone just vomited? I don't understand what kind of material in here makes it so that it's puke. I still wouldn't play with this. You could probably knead it and get some kind of workable slime. But for $12, how can a company not have foresight on their own product not working or not being okay on the shelves? This is just corporate greed at this point. If this were some kind of limited edition, I would understand that they would have a short lifespan. But the fact that these are in stores indefinitely is no excuse for the quality of slime that we got. At this point, the confetti and the beads are absolutely useless. Rocket ship, not sure what for. And then we get a surprise toy, which is still not a surprise. Obviously for me, this garbage belongs in the trash. Out of all three Disney kits, the only one that was good was the Aqua Bead. She's really cute. But again, quality control, we were lacking and missing colored beads. So it seems like quality control with Disney products is not that great. This week's shout out goes to Salma Rizni, Malak Alrosan, Mirror Gem Pins, and Insulin Youth. 
Remember, if you want a shout out, make sure you hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of the video's release, or hashtag NerdyCraft on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. If you want to watch the previous Salty video, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch the crafting video of last week, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.